In this video, you'll learn how to insert a photo in Affinity Publisher 2 using the Picture Frame tool, as well as how to embed it within the text frame by making it either inline or float using the pinning panel. Using the rectangle tool, we're going to draw in a rectangle over the text frame for our text. Then to activate the text wrap, we're going to go up and hit Edit Wrap Outline. This will move your text below the image. Then open up your files and drag in the appropriate image. At this point, if you hover over the picture frame, you'll be able to move the image within the picture frame. And as you can see, anything outside the picture frame will be cropped. If your picture frame is not large enough for the image, you can simply drag it down until it fits. Or if you want the picture to be cropped for space reasons, you can use the center arrows and move it into place and it will crop out the excessive image. You can also insert an image directly into the text frame itself, which will then move with the text if you insert additional pages or additional text above the image. To do this, you would just drag and drop your photo into the file and then you would copy it. And in this case, I delete it and I double click into the text frame. I hit enter, just like you would normally. And I change the text tile to what I have a scene break, which is already selected. And I just paste the image in. Now the image is embedded within the text frame. So for example, if I go above and I insert in additional text, it will move the image down. When you use the picture frame, it floats above or behind your text wrap frame and will not move as you insert additional text. This is particularly useful for inserting in scene breaks if you're not completely done editing the content or if you're worried your text will move at all. So to do that, I would insert a scene break by entering in my scene break layer. I'd switch over to an asset and I would draw it into place. I would copy, double click into that scene break and paste it in. Now I have a scene break inserted that will move even if I insert it in additional locations. They'll all move down and adjust throughout the document. One of the tools that you can utilize when inserting in photos is the pinning menu. To turn on the pinning panel, go to Window, turn on Text, and hit Pinning, and this menu will pop up. I'm going to drag it and place it on my right panel right here. Right now, this image is currently floating and it is unpinned. It's outside, it's not part of the text frame at all. This means if I were to insert text, say, above this image, the text will flow around the image and the image will stay in place on this page, which now means it's no longer linked to the photo label. Undoing that puts it back into place. Say I want to change this image to be an inline text. One method, as I showed earlier, is to copy, paste, delete the image, and then paste it within the text frame but you can also utilize the pinning menu for this. With the image selected, go to the pinning panel and hit the inline button. This will automatically move the image to be inline text with whatever text frame is behind the image. If you switch to layers, you can now see that this is embedded underneath this right here. You can even hover over and see that it is now in line with text. Previously, if you, for example, unpin it again, you can now see that it is a separate layer completely from the master. So repeating it in line allows you to now, if I go in and paste more images or more text, it will move the image to stay in line with where the text is supposed to be. Once you have this image in line, you can also utilize the float with text tool. This means that it will float around. As you can see, it is kind of linked to this location of the text so even if I say shrink the image, 
It will always be linked to this location, but it allows me to place it in different spots throughout the document. I could also edit the text wrap of it and say increase the shape around if I want more spacing or something like that. But it will always be linked to this location as evidence right here. So once again, if I insert in additional text above, the image moves and remains linked to this same spot in the document. Utilizing the float and inline tool allows you greater flexibility when editing a document. If you go back and want to add more pictures, this way you don't have to update every single photo on every single page that might be floating behind or separate from your text. Utilizing the pinning menu allows you to get around that and can allow you more flexibility.